When evaluating a new home or your existing one, a key item of concern is the condition of the roof. All roofs will eventually leak and will need to be repaired. These repairs can cost several hundred dollars, with full replacements ranging anywhere from $5,000 to well over $50,000. Since the roof covers about 40% of the home's exterior, providing the majority of protection against the elements, semi-annual roof inspections should be conducted. Throughout warmer areas of the United States, many residential roofs consist of cement or clay tiles and natural stones such as slate. Other materials include man-made composites that look like stone or clay but weigh less, as well as a number of wooden shake and shingle configurations. In addition, there are metal roofs which are designed to look like shingle or tile roofs. In colder regions, flat metal roofs are often used in order to deal with heavy snow loads. These roofs come in long panels of sheet metal. Most of these specialty metals have been coated to resist the elements so as to further their serviceability. On flat roofs, often there are long continuous rolls of felt membrane and special asphalt fiberglass materials that have been bonded together to form a continuous water barrier. Finally, with the almost endless variation in color, style, and price, the asphalt fiberglass shingle is the favorite among most homeowners. In order to help you inspect a roof, there are a few key words that should be learned. On this drawing, you can see the corner of a house and the rafters in fascia wood. OSB, oriented strand board, is installed over top of the rafters. Next, tar paper is rolled out, which is the main water seal for the roof. Afterwards, a metal drip edge is then placed on the outside edges of the roof to make sure that the water does not somehow flow back under the tar paper. A metal flashing is mounted over top of exposed roof fence. Metal flashing is the waterproof barrier that is used to seal certain parts of the roof so that water does not leak in. Then the roof covering is installed, its main purpose being to protect the tar paper. Lastly, the flashing is sometimes painted and roofing tar is applied. When you prepare to inspect a roof, keep in mind that you will not be able to see the roof's underbelly, so you will have to clue in on the signs that the roof's exposed surfaces provide. Regardless of the type of roof you are looking at, there are many indicators that will clue you in on its condition. Begin your inspection in a position that will enable you to see over the eave of the roof. It is a good idea to use a stepladder and a pair of binoculars so as to have a better vantage point. Avoid getting on the roof as to prevent injury to yourself and damage to the roof. Start off by inspecting the general condition of the roof. It is easy to see missing roofing material, so go beyond the obvious and inspect closely the flashing and other areas that are prone to create leaks and are harder to detect. When looking for damage, check for excess wear at the corners and peaks of the roof. Look to see that there are not any missing or broken shingles or tiles. Make sure that the roof is clean of all debris and dirt, and in all aspects, the roof looks serviceable. Rotting fascia board on the outside of the house is an indicator that water is draining onto the front fascia wood and is causing it to rot and decompose. Check to see that the flash around the chimney and roof fence leading out of the attic appear to be in good condition. Like these, they should be sealed with roofing tar in most cases. However, some metal flashing will seal the pipe well enough that roofing tar is not needed. Water staining and damage inside the house is one of the best indicators of problems with the roof. However, keep in mind that major stained areas in the ceiling do not always correspond directly with where the leak is located. The flashing around this chimney had begun to leak and caused water to drain onto the drywall ceiling of this house. In the attic, check for staining on the OSB. This is a good indicator of potential problems with the roof. Finally, check for overhanging trees or objects that can fall and puncture the roof. Never allow trees or any large objects that could damage the roof to overhang it. Tree branches can break from weather conditions and can cause great damage to a roof. It is not a good idea to allow vines or other plants to grow under the eaves given that they often promote insect and rodent problems in the attic. Here is a nest that was found in the subflooring next to the second story bathtub of a house. This rose bush is definitely an interesting example of what can happen over time. These types of problems can be easily avoided if preventative maintenance is performed regularly. When buying a new house or after you have identified problems in your own house, 
Let your professional home inspector or licensed contractor do the job of getting on the roof and inspecting it closely.